Hello guys, in this tutorial we will see how to simulate sloshing of a fluid inside a container. Let us open ANSYS workbench. Once the ANSYS workbench is open, click and drag the fluent fluid flow system. Double click the geometry to create a geometry design modeler. Click the XY plane and click the Z axis arrow to make the plane normal to us and click sketching. Change the units to millimeters and now draw a rectangle of dimensions 300 cross 100. And I just want to do a two dimensional simulation. So, in order to look like a container, I am filleting these corners. Go to modify, click fillet, and give a radius of 40 mm, and click all these corners. And now let us convert this sketch into a two dimensional geometry since we are interested to perform a two dimensional analysis. Go to concept, surface from sketches, click the base object, click apply and click generate. And now the two dimensional shape has been created. Now we can close this design modeler and we can move on to the meshing. Double click the mesh. And once the geometry is loaded in this meshing model, click the mesh and give a mesh size of 2 millimeters and click generate. Now the mesh has been created. Now, now click the stop edge and right click and give create name selection and name that as outlet. And now generate mesh and you can close this meshing right click and update the mesh because the name that we have given is not updated and when you see the tick mark here the mesh is done and now we can click on the setup double click the setup will take you to the ANSYS fluent setup enable double precision and start and once when all the things are loaded in the ANSYS fluent click the general and change the time to transient and go to this gravity and since we need to have an acceleration of this total body we have to enable uh, this x axis acceleration as uh, by using the expression that I have shown here I will give you this you can find this in my website the link is given in the description and this expression is used to move the whole tank uh, in the x axis direction. Now paste that expression and leave that and give the y axis acceleration as minus 9.81 so that, that will resemble the real gravity and then go to the models and enable multi phase and go to volume of fluids and click apply. So if you are using volume of fluid approach we need two different fluids because we need to have uh, water here or some other fluid here and over that air should be there. So go to the materials inside the fluid double click and you can find the fluid database and there you can see water liquid click that and click copy. So once you click copy you can close that and you can see water liquid and air are in the are loader in the materials. So now we can go back to the multi phase model and now you can see the volume of fluid is enabled click the implicit formulation and click the body phase formulation as implicit body force. Go to the phases and let us fix the phase 1 as air so rename that phase 1 as air and also it is defined as air. Go to the second phase, rename that second phase as water and 
saying that as what does water liquid and click apply so after applying this you can find the first phase is defined as air and you can also uh, see the physical material is added as air and if you see the second phase that is water that is added here as water liquid as we have defined in the materials and go to the phase interaction value of surface tension coefficient so let us keep that as 0 0.0075 and click apply and close this setup and now energy need not to be turned on uh, leave the viscous model as SSTK omega and now what we have to do is we have to give the boundary conditions in the boundary we have only the outlet boundary so at the outlet boundary there should not be any water backflow so for that we have to fix the 0 as backflow volume fraction of water so just ensure that apply and click close now we have to define half of this tank by fluid and half of the tank should be filled with air so for that I am using an option adapt I am using manual adaption and using cell registers click new region and this is 0 comma 0 and this is x 300 comma 0 and this is uh, this is y 100 and x 0 and this is y 100 and x 300 we have to fill off of this container with the air so for that we have to use the cell register to give a x minimum of 0 and x maximum of 300 millimeters here we have to change the units go to units and change the length units as millimeters so x0 to x300 should be water similarly y0 to y50 should be of water so that the half of the tank will be filled with water and you can click save fill the adapted region by water so for that you have to initialize prefer hybrid initialization and click initialize so once you initialize the solution go to patching and we have to patch the region that we have defined now this is the region half of the tank so it, the half of the tank should be filled with water that means volume fraction of water in this region should be 1 1 means that is filled with water click patching and now let us check whether it is properly applied or not so that for that go to graphics go to contours see the phases and volume fraction of water and now click display you can see that half of the tank is filled with water that is represented as red color and the remaining half is not filled with water that is represented as blue color so now close that and then you can solve the solution but before that we have to see the contours of these things so I prefer to uh, save the setup as a fluent file separately so I am writing as fluent file so export this case so I am saving this file in my local location let's name that folder as fluent Okay, now we have saved this folder as uh, they saved this fluent file now let us close this uh, design modeler and uh, this whole ANSYS workbench setup for, for a backup let us save this file I am moving to the same folder and save this as workbench and now let us open the fluent file that we have created so open fluent and enable the double precision and two dimensional case so we have saved that case here so go to that location and this is the case that we have saved and uh, we can give start with selected options and before calculating the solution what we have to do is we have to save the contours each and every time step uh, so for that I have an 
text user interface commands. So I am copying this command. I am going to the calculation activities and you see that there is an option called execute commands. So these commands should be executed. Create new, a new command and these commands should be executed to save this images. Uh, save the counter plots as image each and every uh, float time. So, change that to uh, float time or we can keep that as each and every time step and click OK. So, we can see now this command is active and you can close that. Let us check whether the uh, adapted region is existing or not. So, click the uh, initialization again. Click initialize, go to patch, the region is available here. So, do that initialization volume fraction of water at this particular region is 1 and I am giving patch and then close this and now you can run the calculation. Let us have the time step as 0 0.05. Since we have given 0 0.05 as time step, 20 time steps are required to complete 1 second. So, I am giving that and I am increasing the maximum iteration per time uh, step as uh, 50 in order to achieve good convergence and then I am clicking calculate. Now, you can see the solution is being calculated after a certain time the solution all the solution will be calculated and the images will be being stored on the location where we have kept the uh, fluent file. You can go to that particular location where we have saved the fluent case file. You can see the images are being stored for each and every time step as we have given. And after that we can convert this image into uh, animation since we need to have an animation of that. 